Glad to see you back here again, Elliot. I can only hope you have agreed with the circumstances set before you, and if so, I'll see you when you return. Yeah. The circumstances. I still can't believe an avid night gazer like me would want a week long stay in space. Right. I mean, really, Doc? This whole thing is for a social experiment? You were hired to run tests on me when I return to Earth? I think I'll be fine. <laughs> All right, then. Yes, sir. We will not let the weakness of one man halt our plans of future space exploration. I believe that we are getting closer. I think he's going to come around real soon. You know what you need to do. I understand. I'll take care of it. Dr. Shepard? Is. Elliot Rivers is here. Do you want me to send him in? Yes. Yes, you may. Elliot, good morning. Please. It's... It's been eight weeks since you landed back on Earth, and this is our eighth meeting as well. Are you feeling any more usefulness with your life? The ride of my life, huh, Doc? You asked me if I was ready. I did, yes. What you failed to mention was how heavy the toll would be for having the ride of my life. And you still never shared with me what you discovered up there? A fresh perspective. I stared out at the earth, at her, through the small circular window, and I saw ghost paint. Sapphire horizons and pale aqua clouds twirling above the charged waters that tug at the land. She was just there sleeping in the air. I had many timeless moments where I forgot about all the cruelty here on Earth because I couldn't see it, I couldn't hear it. And then I remembered that I was looking at one and set with all my many cares and all my sights of same. And I wasn't there anymore. I saw the sun rise and fall a hundred times in a matter of a few days. The planets orbiting all around me, it just felt so choreographed. And all we are is an insignificant step in this never-ending celestial ballet. You may feel inferior to the universe, but you can make your life as big as you want it to be. How? With what? My dog? My house and my land? That's about all I've got. Try using your own two hands. So space bogged you down a little bit and beat you. But that doesn't mean that you should sulk around with an empty hand waiting to be rescued. Instead, turn your hand the other way around and grab hold of something, anything, that will help you find victory here on Earth.